your friends tend to see you more realistically than you see yourself, and, and in a more kindly way than you see yourself, generally. And uh, so that there's, there is an outside support system, in a sense. But you, you too can become your own friend, basically. You can take a, a positive attitude toward yourself, that not allowing yourself, not really ever attacking yourself. It's never all right to attack yourself. Just attacking yourself only leads to more behavior, more destructive behavior. It doesn't lead to anything positive. So it never serves a purpose to attack yourself. It, it serves a purpose to understand and look for and, and to size yourself up objectively, but with a kindly, in a kindly setting. And you mentioned a therapy the therapy approach can be applied here to the individual, toward himself. You can look at yourself as a, in a friend, with friendly eyes, with the compassion that a therapist would look toward a patient, or a kindness and an openness and an exploratory attitude rather than a critical attitude. Yeah. It's a whole different approach. It's an approach that's inquisitive, that, that wants to understand rather than punish, be self-punishing, self-critical. <clears throat> but it's open to, mm -hmm. it's objective. It's not a build-up. It's not a fantasy or a narcissism. We're not talking about that. It's just, it's, it's a friendly approach to yourself, more or less the way you would approach another person you felt sensitive to, and kind to, and cared about. That same way, that same attitude could be directed toward yourself. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and if you do develop that type of attitude, in a sense you're not alone in, a, in, a, in, a, in that same way. Because you have a, a sort of a benign companionship just because of the way you're looking at yourself and, and sizing yourself up and, and just trying to understand but it's a whole different flavor from the way most people look at themselves, to, to tell you the truth. But they can learn to, to look at themselves differently. So no matter how badly you behave or what you did, it serves no purpose to punish yourself. But it's very valuable to look at it objectively, try to understand what, why you behave that way, and changing, taking direct power to change behavior you don't like. Very important to be adult in the whole situation, that is to realize that you have power over your life, that you can make changes. It's a whole different orientation. It's very important to choose people in your life who are, have a positive orientation toward themselves and toward you, rather than surrounding yourself with people that are critical or destructive just intensify and reinforce negative attitudes you have toward yourself. So you, cho you can choose the environment that you live in and then the environment affects you. The, the social environment you choose reflects back on you.